Hey friends, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up my husband's bullet journal for March and we decided that it would be fun in honor of the new Picard TV show that is currently airing to do a Picard theme. And to be honest, my husband and I are very big Star Trek fans, but we're not sure how we feel about this new show. Let me know in the comments if you've been watching Picard, what your thoughts are so far, but I didn't want to make a theme that was completely focused on this new iteration of Picard, just in case we ended up you know, not really enjoying it at the end of the season. So I decided instead of focusing on this new TV show, just to focus on the character of Picard himself, because we're both big fans of Picard. So I thought this was kind of a good middle ground and I feel like we were overdue for another Star Trek theme. So this is going to be an ode to Captain Picard and I'm really excited about this one. So I'm starting off with, I guess, sort of a quote page, just a little drawing and one of his more commonly recognized sayings, which is, make it so. Make it so. Make it so, number one. Make it so, Mr. Crusher. Make it so, Data. And I'm just doing a pretty simple line drawing of Captain Picard to go along with this. The proportions are definitely cartoony on Picard, but that's kind of the look I was going for. Sort of like if there was a next generation animated series, they maybe would have drawn Picard in this kind of way. Also excuse the fresh cut on my hand, I was playing with Chewy before I filmed this video and he got a little rambunctious and needs a trim of his claws, so my hand got <laughs> a little bit uh, destroyed, but it's all good. Opposite of that page, I wanted to do sort of a typical cover page, and I thought it would be fun to emulate the graphic design of the title for the new Picard show, which is very simple block lettering for the word Picard, and then the A in Picard is that classic Star Trek symbol from the comm badges. So I decided to do that with March, since March also has an A in it. Apparently today is spelling lessons with Elizabeth, so I thought this would be kind of a fun way to invoke the style of the new show without really including too much from this world, again in anticipation of potentially not being the biggest fans of the first season. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I have hope. I want to like it. I'm just not sure. So I decided to do this in gold because I have seen some posters for Picard with gold lettering. I'm starting off with my gel pen and then I'm going in with my gold watercolor to go over top, make everything look really nice and smooth and super metallic and reflective. As always, every supply that I use in this video will be linked in the description box, so if you're looking for something in particular, check there first. There is a 99.99% .99 chance that it is linked down there, and if I happen to miss something that you're looking for, let me know in a comment and I'll be sure to let you know. Once I finished that, I wanted to leave that gold watercolor to dry, and I decided to add some color to my line art drawing. I had initially planned on leaving it black and white, but I ended up feeling like it would have more impact if I added in those classic Star Trek colors and Picard as the captain of a ship in the Next Generation era wore red. And then I also decided it would be fun to add in the metallic elements, so the gold pips along his collar, which indicate his rank as captain, and then the gold and silver on his comm badge. Once that was dry, I moved on to the next spread, which is the monthly calendar. As I've explained before, my husband uses his monthly calendar for all of his scheduling and planning. He's not a weekly or a daily person. He likes to have all of his work commitments, all of his deadlines, all of those things on his monthly calendar. So I try to give him a relatively large monthly calendar with enough space in each daily for all the information he needs to keep track of. The Micron I used to initially do the calendar was starting to dry out and the lines were pretty uneven, so I ended up going back over all of the lines with a thicker Micron to try to get more of a uniform look. I decided to tie in the gold from the cover page into the spread as well, so I wrote in the days of the week along the top of the calendar using my gold gel pen, and I'm also going to do the header of the spread in gold as well, recreating that same design from the cover page, just a little more compact, and adding in 2020. 
As for the more artistic or design element for this spread, I typically like to include something on the margin there on the right side of the calendar. And this time around, I really wanted to include Captain Picard's classic drink, which is Earl Grey tea and his classic way of ordering Earl Grey tea, which is asking the replicator for tea Earl Grey hot. Tea Earl Grey hot. So I started by drawing in the outline of the glass mugs that he always used in TNG with my Micron Fineliner. And then once that was dry, I went in with watercolors to paint the tea within the cup. I started off making it a little bit too brown and you'll see I go back in later and make it a little bit more red since Earl Grey tea does have quite a red tone to it. I also mixed myself a nice warm grey to create the steam coming out of the cup of tea and I thought it would be fun to put in the lettering to write Earl Grey hot as part of the steam and I actually sketched so many versions of this and I could not come up with a way to do this that I liked. And while I still look at it and I wonder if I could have come up with a better way to incorporate it within the curve of the steam, I do like how it turned out. I think it's cute that the letters are sort of swirling up out of the cup of tea. So yeah, and here I am adding more red to the tea just to give it more of a accurate color for Earl Grey. Now letting that side of the spread dry, I'm going to go back over my header with the gold watercolor again. As I mentioned, every time I use this gold watercolor as a topper, you don't have to do this step. Gold gel pen or gold marker or whatever is more than sufficient if you want a gold look. But I just love how shiny this watercolor is, so I like doing that extra step. But again, not necessary at all. Then it was time to let all of this paint completely dry before turning the page and moving on to our final two page spread, which is an invoicing spread on the left side and the first page of the notes section of Jason's Monthly on the right side. As I've explained many times before, Jason is a freelancer, so he uses this invoicing page to keep track of all of his clients throughout the month and the hours worked, the dates, rates, whether he's invoiced or not, if he's been paid, all of that good stuff that can get a little bit hard to stay on top of when you work for yourself and you have a variety of clients. So for this spread along the top, I've started just writing in the first letter, the initial of each section, but for anyone watching for the first time, the sections are client, date, hours, rate, total, invoiced, and paid. For the header, I thought it would be fun to flip that symbol upside down and use it as the V in invoice. And it's funny because I almost felt like I was breaking some rule or being disrespectful by flipping the symbol upside down, which is silly because it's a symbol for a fictional world, a sci-fi franchise, and not a religious symbol or something. But it's just funny to me that I felt kind of this sense of unease or discomfort as I was drawing it. But regardless, I think it's cool. I like that it ties in with the other headers earlier on in this month's setup. So I got over that eventually, but it was just funny to me as I was sketching it out and starting to fill it in that I felt kind of weird about flipping the symbol upside down. I decided to keep the spread itself very simple, minimal, just black pen. And as my last little extra something to add to the spread, I included a bit of a joke along the bottom and I wrote it as if it's sort of fine print for whoever's managing the books to keep in mind. So along the bottom with my gold gel pen, I wrote, payments must be made in gold pressed latinum. Jason had a bit of a chuckle when he read that, so mission accomplished. Now I'm moving on to the final spread, which is the first page of open-ended number of notes pages for March. So I'm just making the header along the bottom there in block letters, and then I'm adding a little drawing to the top right hand corner, which is a top view of the Enterprise, just a very simple shape of the ship within a little circle of sky. And then underneath I wrote engage, which is another one of Jean-Luc Picard's famous catchphrases. Engage. 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 And it just felt 
like I couldn't do a Picard themed setup without including Engage somewhere, somehow. And as I've explained before, I set up this first notes page for Jason and he writes on it as needed throughout the month. It's basically his daily logs, but he doesn't really think of them that way. He just thinks of them as notes, things he needs to quickly jot down throughout the days. And with that, we are done this Picard themed setup. I'm really happy with this one. There are definitely little things here and there that maybe could have been more refined or things I look at and think, oh, maybe if I did this again, I would do it differently. But even still, I'm really happy with this. I feel like it kind of gets across the essence of Jean-Luc Picard, at least the classic Picard we see in The Next Generation. It was really fun for me to get to include all of these little bits, some of his most famous sayings, and just make a little bit of a tribute to classic Picard. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are a fan of Star Trek, if you've been watching Picard, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. I really want to talk to some other people about it and see what you're thinking. I don't want to give the impression that we completely hate it. We definitely are still watching it and there are parts of it that we really like, but it's definitely very different in tone and it's a bit of an adjustment, I think, for us. If you haven't seen my merch setup yet, I will link it for you. You should definitely go check it out. And before I go, I want to take a quick second to thank my patrons for their support. Extra special thanks to our newest patron, R. Willem Mose. So welcome. We're so excited to have you. If you at home want to join the squad, feel free. There's a link in the card and in the description box down below. And with all of that said, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye, friends. If you're looking for something else to watch, I recommend you check out this video or this video.